Hi folks. Well, we'll give you a chicken update. They continue to grow and they're getting bolder and bolder as you can see. I can get close to them without them running away. They're enjoying their time out of their coop, being able to get out in the grass. As you can see, they're not afraid at all. This guy I think is a rooster. I think he's going to protect the flock. <laughs> you can see his comb's a bit bigger than the others but we're not sure yet. So they still have a few months to grow yet before we can even think about eggs. But as you can see, they're getting more and more independent and uh, they really enjoy being out in the grass in the evening. In fact, what they've started to do now during the day, if I'm mowing here and I blow the grass from the mower in the direction of the pen here, they used to run away. Now they run towards it, I guess, because of the grass clippings, and I guess there are probably some bugs mixed in with it. So it's like it's they're getting a free meal out of the deal every time I mow the grass. So and th and that's the other reason, by the way, that I have to keep this garden here surrounded by fencing because I learned with the last batch of chickens, if I don't want them to go in and scratch everything up, <laughs> uh, I have to uh, have to keep them out of it. Uh, it's funny because at the end of the year last year when I went to do final tilling to kind of prep it for the for the winter I just left the gate open and I had this uh, parade following me of chickens because they were looking for worms and other bugs after I would till up a section of soil they'd come right in behind me and have a free meal so just wanted to give you an update on the ch how the chickens are doing See, they're climbing around there on my loader. They haven't gotten on my tractor yet. But, um, yeah, they're enjoying themselves. We're still going to have to keep an eye out, though, when we have them out, because I know we do have a couple red-tailed hawks around here, and they would, they're not big enough yet that a hawk wouldn't go after them. And also, earlier today, we were driving down our road, and in the distance we saw a coyote, so don't need a problem with that. I've got to get the rest of this field mowed. I haven't been able to get into this section yet up until now because we've had so much rain I just get stuck in the mud there. But I'm hoping that by the end of the week that the rest of this field will be dry enough that I can get the brush hog through it and knock all that down. The goal is to get rid of as much cover close to the buildings as possible so nothing can sneak up. <laughs> like coyotes or whatever. Um, fox you know things like that if there isn't any cover they're a little less brazen to do so so we'll see what happens with that but that's my plan is to try to get that mowed as soon as it's dry enough to get in with the tractor but these chickens are pretty secure in their coop at night we have it pretty well um, taken care of and in fact they're self-policing now because my wife told me a few weeks ago that she had seen a mouse in the coop and we thought oh great they're going after the food well I think it was last week I looked out and there were a few of them playing with a dead mouse so I guess <laughs> I guess they're taking care of the mouse problem themselves so at any rate that's the latest on the chicken ranch here chicken ranching here and uh, we are Still enjoying how these chickens are growing. We can't wait till they start laying eggs for us. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.